We're officially halfway through this set of Requested Towers videos, with Requested Towers 4 deciding the 3 video championship. The next 4 Requested Towers videos, this one being included in those 4, will determine the next 3 video championship, and then those 2 3 video championship winners will go up against each other for the grand prize of the 4 video championship. So what I'm defining here as a set of Requested Towers videos is 8 videos, which is what's needed to determine a 4 video championship. With that, let's begin today's video. Once again, I have chosen 4 towers from comments on previous Requested Towers videos. If you have a tower of your own you want me to potentially play in a future episode of this series, then please leave a comment with its ID. We're gonna kick this video off with a catastrophic citadel, which was by this person, has this ID, and was from this comment. Citadel of the Corridor's Trusts. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, that's not a good sign. Please tell me if you beat a floor to include you to the leaderboards. Alright, well, if I get on the leaderboard by completing one floor, then that probably means this is really difficult, so, um, yeah. Well, I did make the first jump, at least. Okay, so I, can, I know I can do that. Whoa. Oh. That's pretty good. Do not ledge grab is what that says. Hold on, I probably need to walk around here. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so don't ledge grab. Oh, there we go. I'm doing better than I thought I was going to for a catastro- uh oh. There is a floor select at least, so even though like 99% of the towers, uh, it just breaks when I try to load in a private server to use no clip, I can still like skip around and not have to redo everything every time I fall, which is gonna happen about once every two nanoseconds. Alright, okay, there we go. I did that right. Please ledge grab. Okay, so let's see. Can I go, like, against the side and then turn like that? There we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so go- oh, no! Okay, so if I go on this side right here, it's gonna, like, push me off of the ladder. Or truss, I mean. So I should go straight to there. Okay, it's still trying to, but as long as I keep holding W and A, I should be good. Let me try jumping to here, and then I'll probably fall off, but then land on the next truss. Oh, wait, I'm probably too far to the left now. If I press S, it's probably gonna, like, make me walk backwards off the truss for no re Oh, actually, no. Okay. Think that's still possible? Oh, I landed- Okay, it didn't do exactly what I expected it to. Alright, let's try floor two. Alright. Well, there's a safety net at least, so that's good. Here, I need to wall hop and then go onto here, I think. There we go. Okay. Why is there a semi-transparent thing right there? Is that a shortcut, or is that, like, button activated or something? I couldn't tell if that was can collide true. Good job, me. Okay, it is can collide true. Shortcut, I guess. Nice. Also, things are getting a bit laggy, so it's time for canister mode and super duper ultra lobby LDM button that will make your game go 6,000 FPS. What do I do? Probably need to wrap around or something. I'm gonna go on this side. Which one's like a straight path straight to the platform? Or a straighter path? Oh, actually that wasn't too bad. Okay. Oh, but then there's some sticks in the way. Maybe they're can collide false? Oh, they are, actually. Okay, so I can just ignore- oh, wait. What? Why was my view able to go through them? I think I'm supposed to go through this gap right here, so... Like that. Oh, I almost missed it, but it's fine, because I didn't. Uh-oh. I. <sighs> that's how I fell. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. So, where possible, I want to try and walk, like, straight- Come on. Okay, like I was saying, try to do that. Like, walk forward into this thing, I think, is probably better than trying to walk sideways. Okay, here I'm gonna have to do that, I think. Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna try this- oh. Wow, I just reached floor 3. That's crazy. Turns out I can actually shortcut here by doing that. Okay. That's a lot of particles. <laughs> just walk sideways. What am I even supposed to do there? I guess I have to go into climbing animation here. Alright, well that was cool. Let's give the- oh right, I can't like it. Well, I don't know if I'd really say that's catastrophic. It's probably more like insane or maybe extreme, I feel like. But still, a cool tower. I like the slanted frame as well as like this part here. Kinda reminds me of Citadel of- what's it called? Citadel of Scythe Recognition, that's what it is. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, here's our next tower. It's by this person, it has this ID, and it's from this comment. But in this comment, there's actually supposed to be an 8 right here. They just forgot it, and it wouldn't load when I tried that, but I realized there was an 8 in the other IDs in this comment, so yeah. Neat Inferno Ring 2, I guess that's what the R is. Big update soon. So this one I think is like a ring, rather than a single tower. Alright, so I think I go like this way. Yeah, here are the towers. These might be the only towers here. It does say easy chart, so maybe there's like, ones of the higher difficulties, I don't know. Let's just start with, how about not even a quiet days. 10 p.m. For once, it's actually not 10 p.m. when I'm recording this. Isn't that crazy? It's 4.56 p.m. Don't ask why I accented p.m. because it's the same, so that made no sense. Never mind. You know, I could just, like, re-record me saying 4.56 p.m., but, you know, not accent the word or letter p. Um, no, I'd rather just keep this uh, run-on sentence going. Or has it been more than one sentence? Hmm. Okay, this is a spinning shadow thingy. Also, I have no idea what's going on with the lighting. Maybe it's like the skybox. Hold on, if I turn... No, I have that off. I don't know, that looks cool though. 
Not sure how you did that. Okay, this is gonna be a spinner. I probably need to go like this way and then jump there. Okay. And go up. Hmm, that wasn't what I meant to do. I think this is just about the end also, because I don't see another... Wait, is it? Huh? Oh wait, yeah, that is the end. Okay, here's the wind pad right there. Nice. Wow, I agree. That's some pure wisdom right there. What? What just happened? Oh, darkness remover. No, I like it with the darkness. It adds to the mood of this place. Okay, which do I want to do? How about not even a clumsiness? I have normal walk speed and jump power on this one. Uh, and there's a safety net. Maybe every floor? I don't know. There's an outside. I guess I go somewhere. Oh, I go this way. What just happened? Oh, those are those on- those are on the out- well, I have what just happened? How did everything just go wrong in the span of, like, 30 seconds? Right, remember how I said it was 4.56 p.m.? Yeah, well now it's 5 p.m., and now I have to wait for the clock to chime five times. Well, hey, that's not as bad as, like, 11 times like it usually is. Oh, and that was basically the end, okay. Okay, now we'll do the hardest one here, not even uh, absolute sadness. Um, actually, that should be an absolute sadness, because English be like that. What does this do? It's a, oh, limited time jump booster. Okay, so jump up there. I almost missed the jump to the wind pad, but I didn't. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so let's go back to the lobby. I didn't mean to walk on that conveyor. Let's give this a like, because it's... Huh? Okay, so before I played this, I accidentally recorded a whole segment playing the wrong obby, which also just so happened to be a neat ring. But then when I teleported out of that area, I teleported to here and liked it, thinking I was liking the obby I just played. Then I realized I played the wrong tower, recorded the segment I just recorded, but I'd already liked this, because when I teleported out of the other one, it teleported me here. Uh, either way, what I was trying to say is it did actually load, so like it so it says seven i can never just say let's like this obby there's always some strange mystery going on anyway here's the id once again and let's move on to the next one wait no not yet i need to say the winner between citadel of the corridors trusts and neat inferno ring 2 the winner is the citadel and that's because it's unique frame design and also this other detail as well that makes it look cool wow this one actually loaded correctly too See how it doesn't say loading folder? That's gonna mean it's actually gonna let me like it. But we're gonna do that after I play it. Our next obby is Tower of Industrial Shifts. I mean, Tower. It was by this person, it has this ID, and was from this comment. So it's insane difficulty, but I'm in a public server, so I don't have no clip. But I think I'll be okay. Huh? Oh wait, can I- I press F, okay. What do you have to say? I'm not gonna have time to read that. Yo, you are the new employer? Yeah, alright, then you need anything, head down- Oh, I can just do that to read it again. If you need anything, head down to the supply area to grab your keys and stuff. Key to here, the bay is in here. What? I can't read. Key to the bay is in here. Okay, there we go. So, I need a key. Uh, I see parkour here, though, so... What? Wait, no, I can go here. I see a key. Okay, that disappeared. It also destroyed this. Or deactivated it, I guess. Alright, so I can go down. Basement. Black outlines fade in 1, white outlines fade in point 0.1. Okay, so like they disappear in that amount of time. I see. So here I'm basically just gonna hold space, yeah. Oh, I probably need a ledge grab, actually. Instead of like, hitting my head on- come on. Here we go. Ledge grab to go to here. Oh. Also lag. Quick! Canister mode and super duper ultra- Okay, so I need to be ready to go further than- Oh, there we go, okay. I probably need to do that now. Well, okay, so I can probably press F to corner flip. Let me go to this corner, that way I'll go to that corner. And then, actually, I wonder if I can, like, press D and F in space, and, though, that wasn't right. Okay, actually, there was no way that was gonna work, the way I was trying to press the buttons. Uh, we're just gonna do... I press space! Okay, jump first next time. Jump, press F, and- Okay, how is that- There's no way that's possible. For me, because I have a skill issue. Is there any, like, secret shortcut or anything? Oh, there we go. Okay, I made it. That took forever, and involved rejoining and trying to load in a private server, but then that didn't work, and now the loading broke the second time I joined a public server. Maybe I should have liked it before, but whatever. Okay, what does this say? May as well read it while I'm sure that I can. White outlines on zip lines indicate where to jump off. That's nice, but how do I get to the zip line? Oh, it's over there. Whoa. Okay, let me try... Let me just time it, please. <coughs> Okay, I give up. I have too much of a skill issue for this, apparently. Here's the ID once again, and let's move on to the final one of this video. Alright, next up is Tower of Zero Sweat. 
I have no idea what difficulty this is. It also says that in the comment, which is from this comment. Let's just go in reverse order. It has this ID and it was by this person. Okay, so this is apparently this person's first tower ever. So yeah, so far it seems pretty simple and not a whole lot of design or anything, but maybe that'll get better as the tower goes on. Just gonna walk around those for no reason. There appears to be some sort of mini tower here. Kind of reminds me of Toast with these sphere jumps. Well, that's just great. All right, now don't have a skill issue again on this unknown difficulty tower. Well, so far I'd say it's probably like hard difficulty. Okay, spinner. Let me just time that right. I almost timed it wrong, but that's okay. What does this do? Oh, increased walk speed. Another speed. It's like a speed section jumping across sphere jumps. Kind of like toast again. Now there's an outside though. This is unlike toast. Teleporter. Dropper. Wow. Okay, probably need to avoid the semi-transparent parts because they probably can't collect false. What does this do? Balloon. Oh, I see. You have to, like, try and... There's a teleporter. Okay. Well, I thought it was try and not die because kill bricks. Uh, this is probably an issue. Maybe I should... Yeah, let me just do that and hope it teleports me. Okay. Now I have to wait, like, a whole minute to heal up. Okay, so let me hit the balloon giver thing and then try and go into, like, climbing animation right there. That way I don't go underneath all the kill bricks. Uh, what? Okay. What? Why didn't it teleport me? Apparently the teleport doesn't go that far. Okay, let me try this. Like, swing this upward so I can go into climbing animation and die. Okay, let me try, like, going into climbing animation as soon as possible. Okay, I give up. Let's give this obby a like. I mean, tower. I could actually like it this time, though, because it loaded. Yay! Here's the tower ID once again. All right, well, that was the fourth and final tower of this video. The winner between Tower of Industrial Shifts and Tower of Zero Sweat is... Tower of Industrial Shifts. Even though I had a huge skill issue and only got to play a very small section of the tower, I think the theming and design was better than was the case on this tower. Although it does look like it gets a little bit better here, further up. But I had a skill issue on both of these. That leaves the Requested Tower's five finals. So Citadel of the Corridor's Trusts versus Tower of Industrial Shifts. The winner is... Tower of Industrial Shifts. I liked the storyline and theming of it, so kind of the same reason it won against Tower of Zero Sweat. And the storyline probably continues, but I had a skill issue and couldn't play it at all, so, hmm. So yeah, that is going to conclude today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. I'd love to hit 4,000 subscribers soon. Three videos in this set of requested towers remain, so make sure to stay tuned so you don't miss the remaining videos of this. Once again, if you have a tower you'd like me to potentially play in a future episode of this series, then please comment its tower ID. I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.